Remember that anytime we say less than or equal to, we're not talking about numbers, we're talking about some known partial order. X and Y are comparable in the order if X is less than or equal to Y or Y is less than or equal to X. For example, in the order given by this Hasse diagram, X and Y are comparable, Y and Z are comparable, but X is not comparable to Z. This is why we call things partial orders. An order is total, or also linear, if any pair of elements is comparable. For example, in this straight line diagram, where X is less than Y is less than Z, any two of these elements are comparable. We call the order linear because the Hasse diagram forms a straight line. A well-ordered set is one with a total order and also a least element so induction is possible. Here is an example of a set with a linear order but not a well ordering. The set of integers that extends infinitely in both directions. Now this is not well ordered. However, if we take away all of the negative numbers and start our order at zero, then we get the set of natural numbers, which is well-ordered. The most important thing about well-ordered sets is that since you have an idea of progression and somewhere to start, you can do mathematical induction. A minimal element is one in a partial order that is not greater than any other. If the minimal element is unique, we call it the minimum. Likewise, a maximal element is one that is not less than any other. And if the maximal element is unique, we call it the maximum. So these definitions are nearly identical, just in the other direction. In the Hasse diagram shown, where C is less than A and B, A is less than D and E, B is less than E and F, and E and F are both less than G, C is the minimal element, and therefore it is the minimum element. The maximal elements are D and G. Notice that maximal does not mean greater than every other element. For example, D is not greater than E. Maximal means there's nothing that's greater than U. Therefore, D and G are both maximal, and there is no maximum. Let A be a fixed subset of a partially ordered set X. A lower bound of A is an element of x that is less than any element of a. The greatest lower bound is the maximum of all the lower bounds. We can play the same game where we turn the definition around. An upper bound of a is an element of x that is greater than any element of a. The least upper bound is the minimum of the set of upper bounds. Let's consider the partial order where H is less than G, G is less than A and C, A is less than B, C is less than B and D, and B is less than E and F. Let's isolate the subset A, B, C. The lower bounds of this subset are all of the elements that are less than every element in the set. That includes G, because G is less than both A and C, and by transitivity less than B, and also H, because H is less than G. The greatest lower bound, abbreviated GLB of the set, is G because it is the maximum lower bound. The upper bounds of the set are the elements B, E, and F. It might surprise you that B is an upper bound of a set that it is included in, but remember partial orders mean less than or equal to, and B is equal to itself. Therefore the least upper bound, or LUB, of our subset A is the element B because it is the least of the set of upper bounds. D is not an upper bound of the set because it is only greater than C and not the other two elements. Let's see an example where an upper bound fails to exist. 
Instead, let's look at the subset BCD. The greatest lower bound of this subset, we'll call this subset B, is the element C, which is greater than the lower bounds G and H. However, there is no upper bound of the set because there are no elements that are greater than both B and D. So there are no upper bounds and therefore no least upper bound. It is possible for a set to have upper bounds but no least upper bound if the upper bounds are not comparable. Finally, a lattice is a partially ordered set where every pair of elements has a least upper bound and a greatest lower bound. An example of our sort of cubic lattice, uh, like the power set of a three element set is shown. Uh, we have H less than E, F, and G, E less than B and C, F less than B and D, G less than C and D, and B, C, D all less than A. If we pick a pair of elements, such as F and G, their greatest lower bound is H, and their least upper bound is D. You can check that this works no matter which pair of elements you pick. A surprising example of a lattice is any linear relation, even an infinite one. Suppose I have an infinite relation where that is linear, where z is less than y is less than x, uh, and I want to pick two elements from my linear relation, then the least upper bound is going to be the maximum of the two elements, and the greatest lower bound is going to be the minimum of the two elements. So linear orders also form a lattice.